Hey guys, how's it going? It's me, Matt the Aussie, and today I'm over at the, I believe it's the Cave Creek Regional Park, and uh, specifically uh, Slate Trail. And I wanted to come make a quick video on just a couple of the um, of the numerous plant lives out here. Um, so let's start. Oh, here's a good one to start with right here. This one right here, this is actually a mesquite uh, tree right here. You can tell why it's bright green. Um, it's uh, bright green um, bark that it is actually. And uh, this is what they use for mesquite here in Arizona. And uh, it's a very easy tree to identify as well. Um, another thing, another cool thing about this plant is it is actually in the legume family. So it te technically produces be edible beans at a certain time of the year. Um, there are no seed pods for me to show you guys right now. Um, but usually it'll grow these seed pods. And when they get um, a golden brown color... You can crack them open, and you can you can either eat them raw or cook them. So that's one of them. Over here, we got the barrel cactus right here. And uh, believe it or not, this actually produces an, a yellow edible fruit. Um, that a lot of people describe the, with kind of a citrusy lemon kind of flavor. Um, but I think a little bit sweeter. And they'll usually appear right here on the tops. Or right here on the top with uh, these little uh, yellowish barrel looking kind of fruits. And... Uh, these right here, try not to get too close. Um, this right here is called a choya, right here. And this, I believe, is considered the jumping choya. Now, the, the barbs don't actually jump off at you, as you can see. You know. Um, but um, uh, these are one of the plants that is that sometimes people walk through and get stuck on. And there is a lot of spines all over it. Uh, here's another choya right here. Dead choya. <laughs> um, some horse poop. This horse has come back here, from what I understand. Um, now, let's see. I want to show you guys one of my favorite cactuses. Let's see if I can... Go back on here. A little bit. Okay. This right here is the iconic classic cactus of Arizona. Um, probably going to mispronounce this, uh, so forgive me if I do mispronounce it, but I believe it's called a Segoro, uh, I think. Um... Not really good with the pronunciation, but um, I do know a couple things about this plant. Uh, now, these things are, as you can see, very, very, very tall. And uh, each one of those arms right there um, takes about a about hundred years for them to grow the, these arms, believe it or not. So it has... It has about three or four, so it's about 300 or 400 years old. These are some really old cactuses. They live a long time. Okay. Be very careful not to damage any of the wildlife. Or not the wildlife, the plant life here. Um, let's see what else we can come across. Oh, yeah, a little bit. and Another bit of information about the saguaro is that those two produce edible fruits. 
Um, it'll be like a reddish kind of pinkish um, flower, which will turn into, which will usually have a fruit on it. Um, not sure what this plant is. Still learning some of the plants. These are only a few of the plants that I've learned info about since I've been here. Um, this looks like it might have been some, might be some sort of wash. Um, hasn't, uh, from what I understand, it hasn't rained in about a year and a half here in Arizona. So, that's interesting too. I totally forgot to bring my hiking boots with me today. <laughs> That's okay. I'll tell you what, I really like these trails, guys. Coming from the East Coast to the West Coast, it's kind of refreshing to see all this. Believe it or not. And I'm really enjoying, you know, the nature. It's nice. I haven't really seen too much of the wildlife here, the animal life. I've been told we have ha javelinas, which are wild pigs. Um, <laughs> also have rattlesnakes. I've yet to seen that, but, you know, these are the winter months. Even though it's about, oh, I don't know. Maybe 60 degrees, 62 degrees right now. Usually stuff like um, scorpions and stuff, they're not out until the weather's about 75 degrees or so. Um, gila monsters, we do have gila monsters here from what I understand, um, but they're very rare. However, if I do stumble across one, I'll make sure to film that. And I'll definitely do a video on that. Um, let's see. Someone around, there's, there's probably one or two more that I would like to show you guys. Um, But my uh, my favorite by far is a saguaro, saguaro, I think is what they call it. Um, so this is really fun. Man, look at that mountain up there. Ironwood. That's an old sign right there. I don't know if that's. This can't, can't be private property. It must be the name of the road, maybe. Or the trail. Actually, it's getting a little hot right now. I should probably take off my hoodie. Bear with me. Uno momento.
Hello. Oh, man. Tie this up. Okay, so let us continue. Now look at that. Teddy Bear Choya. Uh, I don't know if that's supposed to be the name. I think it might be the name of some of these plant of one of these plants, but who knows? But, um, anyways, guys, I should probably end this video. Um, right now, I just wanted to do a quick little video talking about a couple, couple different plants. Um, so if I run into anything or whatnot, I'll make sure to, sh to share it with you guys. Anyways, guys, hope everyone's doing well. Love y'all. Peace, guys.